I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, so I recently modded my Opus BT C3400 battery charger. This will be the second mod I've done to it. Um, the first mod was back years ago when I cut this hole here with a drill to access a hidden voltage selection switch. That way you could set the charger to charge up to 4.35 volts for the certain cells that I have. But this is actually a fan mod. So you can see the charger now sits up much higher than it did before. That's because it now has a 3D printed piece on the bottom of it with a fan inside of it, an 8mm fan. So, let's go and open up and have a look inside. So this is inside the charger. You have the original charger itself and the PCB. I have taken the original fan out. The fan used to go right there. This is the fan right here and uh, somewhere was the original grill that snapped into the fan and the whole thing that slid into here. I'm going to actually include a longer um, video to where I actually uh, do the modification. And of course, I, I shot that last night, but I realized I didn't quite get the best views. And probably some of y'all would probably just want to see um, a brief video of the mod itself and how it's done. So you take the original fan out. In this case, mine had a sun on fan that's actually ready for 5 volts. Now, you're looking at this, you think, oh, you're going to need a 5 volt fan, but actually, that's not the case. This charger actually supplies um, power for a 12 volt fan. And what they did here is they just installed this uh, dropper resistor. I think it's an 82 ohm resistor here. And it drops the voltage down to what this fan here can run off of. And this charger, um, the charger itself actually has a uh, fan speed control built into it so that's how the fan actually is able to um, switch on and off by itself throughout the charge cycle and what have you so you don't want to get a 5 volt fan for this um, of course most 8 millimeter fans like this are 12 volt anyways but I figured I'd point that out because I've seen some videos on YouTube of fan mods for this charger where people are saying oh you need to get a uh, you need to get a 5 volt fan well, you'd only want to run a 5 volt fan if you keep the original connector and resistor. But, uh, that being said, so you have the you take the original fan out, and what you will need to do is you'll need to to uh, 3D print this um, print here. So I'll include in the description a link to the files. They're STL files. You'll need to uh, you'll need to slice them into to a G code. Um, I don't personally have a 3D printer, however, um, my place of work has plenty of them. I work at a community college, and uh, we was able to get this printed out no problem. Well, mostly no problem. The printer had a few issues, <laughs> but uh, once once I got things figured out, this, this turned out uh, fantastic. So I used, uh, actually I think I used low settings on it to print this. Um, it took about seven hours to print. It was a Dremel Digilab 3D45. 3D printer and the material is their Eco ABS which I think is kind of like PLA um, and I say and I won't say whoever created this mold whoever whoever um, designed it they did a they did a top-notch job on it it looks fantastic so that being said here's a millimeter fan this fan came out of a uh, PC power supply and uh, of course, you can commonly find these in uh, computer cases as well. And I should mention that uh, this here originally was on the PCB. Like so, something like that. And I just I just carefully lifted it off with a flat blade screwdriver, revealing just the uh, two uh, pins there. And there's your, there's your plus right there for positive. And you can slide on, uh, you can just slide on the connector like so. And of course, I already had this other connector on hand, so I just wired it into this power supply fan. But, uh, this, for example, um, if you're looking for an 8mm fan, 
you can actually use a case fan. Now this here is, is, is actually a 92 millimeter fan, but it has the three pin connector. And when you pull that piece of plastic off the, the uh, fan connector on this charger, you can actually seat in this connector right here, just like this. So you could do that, and you wouldn't, have to, you wouldn't have to cut any wires or do any soldering or anything like that. Um, I actually just did a simple uh, splice some wire in on this one over here. That uh, also should mention that um, when you're looking for a fan, you want to use one that does not draw a lot of current. And of course, there are computer fans out there that pull a massive amount of current, especially fans that are on CPU coolers and what have you. Um, I recommend sticking with a fan that pulls no more than, I'd say, 200 milliamps, maybe 250 tops. But this fan here pulls uh, 150 milliamps tops or 0.15 amps tops. And this one here, for example, is rated at 0.16 or 160 milliamps. So you want to choose a fan, just a, just a regular old case fan, nothing spectacular. And if you don't already have fans, you can just find a case fan. Heck, even your local Best Buy probably would, would have something like this. This with a standard three pin connector on the end. You can plug it right in and have you a new fan. Um, the reason why I did this mod is because I got sick and tired of the uh, the noise created by this little fan right here. And this little fan just simply did not move much air. It just it made a lot, it made a good bit of racket, but it didn't move much air. But people online are also saying these fans have been notorious for failing. Um, these fans will start making a lot of racket and they'll eventually lock up and not work anymore. So Now, um, I can say that with this new fan, the charger is practically silent. Um, you do feel air come out the back and uh, it does a great job cooling this thing. It, it charged up some cells just fine today with no issues getting hot whatsoever. Um, now I should mention that I, I suggest when you install the fan, you install it where it blows downward into this little vent and out the back. I've seen well, at least one video out there on YouTube where um, the guy mounted the fan like let's see, I have this other piece here that didn't quite complete. He mounted the fan like this. And I tried that just for experimentation and I found that the fan struggled to get air. It just, it just couldn't quite do its thing it did a lot better when it was actually facing downward so I suggest that you mount your fan downward and of course the side of the fan that has the motor in the bracket is typically the side that expels air some fans have a marking this one does it tells you the direction of airflow and the rotation so that is a quick little overview of the uh, fan mod you can do to this Opus BT C3400 battery charger. Also the Opus BT C3100 battery charger. And also a charger similar that's, that is uh, sold under the Ambient Weather brand. So let's go ahead and uh, plug this back in. And of course um, when you're putting these two halves together you just want to um, carefully route the wires like so. Just got to make sure they don't interfere with the fan itself or with uh, the voltage selection switch hole. And you just rest this down to place. And it should pop in snugly. Now, when you're mounting this for the first time, you may have to work with it a little bit because sometimes the 3D prints don't turn out exactly perfect. That's that's just general nature with 3D printing. But, uh, and you actually can reuse the original screws that came with the charger. Which I find really nice. You don't have to find any special screws for that. Now you want to find some screws for the fan. And of course I had a big collection of screws so I don't know exactly what the size I used was. I just know it fit and knew it uh, fastened the fan into place. So um, you'll have to 
that's something you have to look, you have to work with whenever you uh, decide to do this mod. Maybe you be like me and you have a bunch of screws on hand. So go ahead and finish put this in place. And there you have it. And I'll go ahead and plug the charger in, and we can hear it. Like I said, it's practically silent. You can't really even hear it. Um, I did feel some air blow off the back, so we know the fan's working. So that is an overview of the um, Opus BT C3400 or C3100 fan mod that you can do using a 3D printer and a 80mm uh, case fan out of a computer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that's it for this video. But don't forget, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel. And also, don't forget to tick the bell so that way you'll get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back and thank you for your support.